Hi everyone, Sherry, Fabric of Memories. I am on my fourth mini junk journal. I have one more to go. Um, if you want to see the other three, there are, the links are in the description below. This one is for my three-year-old granddaughter, and she can't write yet. She's just learning to talk well. So hopefully we'll see some scribbles, and she'll just want to do it when her sisters do it, and get the idea, and be well on her way for when she does write. But anyway, these are 3 by 5 index cards. This was a pattern I used for the paper, just fold it in half. So this is like, you know, around 3 by 3. Cereal box um, covered with cardstock, scrapbook paper. Um, three signatures, three whole pamphlet stitch, and I just laced these beads through the stitches. I'm also trying to teach them about memories <laughs> and creating your own. And this bracelet is my mom's. She passed away two years ago and this granddaughter never met her. So here's a nice bracelet from her great-grandmother. Um, it's just a fun way to keep a memory and it's very pretty. So another tip to you guys, go through your jewelry cabinets and find stuff to put on here. Even if it's, you know, one little something, it's, you know, it was yours. And if you're giving it to somebody who knows you, that goes with it. But it's also, um, I was at Joanne's the other day looking at, um, it was on like 60% off for jewelry stuff, and I'm looking at oh, I got a necklace that has that. I got a bracelet that has that. So I didn't buy anything, and I know I'd go through there and find all kinds of stuff in my own jewelry cabinet and save some money. But anyway, um, I have a thing about little keys and locks and secret places for the kids, so I put a key on each one of them, and then this lock. And I just use the, le the ribbon do this here to open up like this. She likes elephants, so I found some scrapbook paper that has elephants on it, and it may go around the back, and then also here in the middle a little bit. So here's the journal. Um, this wording is pretty cool. I bought this paper at the, at the scrapbook aisle. All the squares, you just cut a square out and do whatever you want. I make tags with them put them on tags and decorate the tag, or in this case I just made a little tuck corner, tuck spot, or a pocket, whatever you want to call it, with a journal page paper to put in there. And then made a love by Nanny so she knows it came from me and I kind of like my title page. <laughs> she likes lace and frilly stuff so I put a lot of lace on the edges of the paper. And what I'm trying to teach them is to journal you have to sit and write six pages in your journal of everything a name a date and a oh man this was so much fun or just stick in a receipt from somewhere put the na your name on it and who you're with just a little something for the memory and in this case take the paper out write on it stick it back in because it's really hard to actually sit down and write on this tiny little page so I'm trying to encourage them to write and if they know how easy and fun it is maybe they'll catch on quicker. Um, just a bobby pin from the dollar store with glitter on it, another journal paper. And these are what's fun. I made them larger ones and they really liked them. I call them flip corners which they're dual, dual duty. You just cut a square and you put double sided sticky tape or glue on the, there, fold it and you got a little flip corner. You can write in it, hides it, kind of. And then, because you only have glued the two sides, you've got a pocket in here. So that's a double duty, and they, they really like it, kind of little secret spot, you know. And they like, she likes little tea sets, so I happen to have these stickers to decorate it, and just a little bit of rickrack on the edge. Um, these are really fun. It's just a piece of paper long rectangular. You can make them as long as you want and you just fold it up. You fold these in and then just fold the paper up and down and it looks like an envelope but it's a journal card. Paper, whatever you call it. And I'm going to write on this um, some little note or something to her when I give it to her. These uh, song pages, it's the middle of the signature and I always put a little bead on there and this one happens to have um, oh, this is the one I made a mistake on. So it just has this little one dangle. These are from the other signatures. But I have this old gospel hymnal that I got at the thrift store. And, of course, she doesn't know any of these, but I know them all. So I chose two, um, are they called stances or whatever? And that just to read it, not even sing it, but the words are special to just read. So that's a, something you can use with a hymnal. Get the words of the song in, you know, if they sound cool, put them in there. 
And these, I forget where I get them, got them, but I printed them out on um, from the computer, just a whole list of words, and I printed it out on uh, this beige cardstock, and then I can just cut out whatever word I want and glue it anywhere I want. Another list piece of rick rack of these I'm leaving for them to add to themselves. I have a problem. I keep adding so much. It's like, oh, stop. Let them add what they want to their book about their life. So, <laughs> working on that. So, like the superheroes. So, I gave her those little dealies. Another flip corner. Okay, this is a cool one. Look at this one. Made a flip corner out of this one. And then I put a flip corner on, on that one at the top. A little, tiny little tag that oh, that um, folds into the pocket, a flip corner, and a flip corner. I should have done this in one of the older kids' books, because they'll figure it out before she will, but she's got time. But look at all the journaling space, and all you did was this little bit of stuff, you know, and they'll think that's pretty cool and exciting to go find all the spots, and then, of course, you still got your pocket up here. A belly band of ribbon and a writing card vellum for looks. She'll be four next year, so I just chose that number. Another, just a pocket. Here's another one of these um, I just use, I happen to have these little decorative uh, mini brads, but you could staple it or glue it, whatever you want. And that's just the cover. And you can open it up, and here's your long lined paper. Right on it. Blank on the back. Right on both sides. Color on one whatever, fold it back up, and I use this ribbon to make the little, I call them mini matchbooks, for those of you who remember what match pack of matches you to, used to look like, and that just holds the edge of the paper back in there. And these little tabs on the pages are just glitter paper, or cardstock, I get it, I guess it is, and I made a punch, two punch, two circles out and put them on there. Another one of the words that I had from the that I printed out. I just made this card, didn't know what to do with it, but I had it and had the little bear on it, so it was perfect for her, but then it was too long for the book, so I folded up the end of the tab of the tag to make a pocket. Here. And these are cool because if you have a tag punch and you line this up to where the fold here is to the inside of the tag, not at the edge of the punch. When you punch it, you'll have a book tag, which again, small area, double the space to write. So that's a cool little thing to do. Look for a tag punch for you. That, put that on your list of things because there's so much you can do with tags. This is the other side of that page that I made the vellum pockets. Here's another double duty open flip open tag to write in. It goes in that pocket, and this one is the glitter paper also. When I write to them snail mail, I'll use the sealing wax, so that's kind of like my trademark. So I did the same one, and it says, I love you, and I did that, and then I just wrote to her. So this kind of like my signature to the book, so she knows it's from me or whatever. <laughs> More lace on the edges. This is a doily, and a little tuck, tuck spot for a writing page. And this is another idea. I have a punch that's this size. What is that? About an inch and a half wide. And if you just glue at these, the angle here, you can make a pretty little tuck spot like that. And I bought a, ba a box of uh, these little tiny mini puzzles at the thrift store. Just to put them on there for looks. I haven't figured out a good way other than just, you know, something fun to look at. But that's something you might look into. Um, and here's another one of the triple page flips, but on the top of the page instead of down at the bottom, and the pocket, and this is another, here's what the old matchbook look, look like, you guys remember it? Open it up, pull it out, so the thing about these, you can make them any size you want, thick, thin, long, however long, and then it just sticks in there. Another one of the words just for fun. This is one where you make it twice the size, the length of your page, and then fold it in so that this is the exact size, and you fold in for a little writing spot. A little button I had and just glued it on for her. This is vellum, and I, this is the Martha Stewart border punch, and I just punched there, and 
I find something that'll stick in here. It's a pocket. This is just in my beads. I found it, so I glued it on this for looks. I got this card from somewhere. I'm not sure it's a Disney show movie, I'm sh but I don't remember which one it was, or I don't follow those anymore, but she'll probably know who that little guy with the bee on his nose is. I happened to find a, some cards at the thrift store and um, happened to have elephants, so I made that into a page. And here's these middle ties of this signature. Here's one end, it's just a bead, and then the other end I made it longer with the dangles so it can kind of dangle down here, or if she wants to put it up there, she can. I found this pattern on Pinterest for the envelopes, so I printed it out, got a little paper in here, you can open and write on, and then put it in the envelope again, and just a little bead for looks. I, in this case, sometimes I use it for the middle of the signature, but this time I just glued it onto this page because she's so young. Um, another pocket, just another pocket. Um, this is the other side to that extra long one, and I goofed and put this. Didn't notice that when I did it and didn't cover it, but oh well. Another double duty tag on the inside. And these are just those little rosettes, and I glued it to a paper clip. This I got from my scrapbooking days. There was a scrapbooker about ten years ago. I stopped, but I still have a lot of those supplies, so I just stuck it on there. Another page flip and pocket. This is a something I get out of dictionaries. I'll go through and find pictures that are really will mean something to the kids or they'll be interested in and um, cut it out with a little bit of definition down here. But it's a woolly mammoth, kind of looks like an elephant. This is another one of the little matchbooks. Well, no, it's not the matchbook. It's just I put this little rhinestone stuff on from the dollar store. Or no, this is Joann's, but I got it 50% off, then 15% off with my Girl Scouts, so I got it for 75% off. But you can just fold the paper. You don't have to make anything out of it. Um, this is something silly. It's maple syrup, and the definition of maple syrup from the dictionary. Why? I don't know. I just saw it and threw it in there. And then these are just beads that I glued there, albeit not so straight. But another pocket page. And here's another one of those um, from the paper for you by Nanny, kind of I signed it for. And this is another one that I'll write on this, another pattern I got. I get, think I got them off of Pinterest and printed it out, but look how tiny, the tiny little envelope. And I always put a little rhinestone on here to help grab to get it out of here. And a little flip tab. This is that same um, tag punch that I have, but I cut it kind of in half, rounded the corners to make this little tiny mini tag. And then stick it in there, and close it up. And it goes right back in the pocket. Uh, another pocket corner tuck spot. And this is was the Labradors, because they have a Labrador. These tiny little um, paper clips, I got them from AliExpress. A little, little hard to use, but it's put something in there you wouldn't want to kind of keep pulling it in out like you would a larger one, because they're a little hard to, to use. This is a little paper bag. And I use that as the pocket. They have a this is a basset hound dog. They have three dogs. Three there are three labs actually, but um I thought she liked the dog. And then the little rosette glued onto this to the um a regular size paper clip and another little envelope with some journal paper in it. And this is a what is that, like two inch by two inch ziplock. It does have a ziplock at the top baggie that she can, if she finds a special little pebbles or something, um, she can put it in there and then you flip it up and write about it. I did this in a larger baggie and their larger journals I made them for them and I put a, one of my bracelets in there and said this is from me and explained about it, wrote it on here. So then, you know, when I'm gone they say, oh that's Nanny's bracelet, you know. And this is something I tried and it worked. I just punched out of the dictionary, glued it onto a tag, so it's got double duty tag with a picture of the dolphin, pocket, another song page, and these are the uh, dangles from, I just put that to secure it, but 
just oddball beads that I've had. Don't even know why I have them, but they're around the house. Check your junk drawers, ladies. You'll amaze what you can find in there. And they're long enough they can go either way. And another, another page flip. Yeah, page flip up, corner corner flip in the pocket. And this one, the word, and this, this doesn't come off, but it's just something she can write on like that. Glue a picture on uh, the, you know, the flower on the little tag. And these are just a ribbon tied onto the um, paper clip, the jumbos, but I took my wire snippers or whatever they no needle nose pliers and I took the end of the the um, paper clip and rolled it around to make these little curly cue things. So easy, easy to do and just kinda adds a little extra something to the paper clip. This is the other end of that box the uh, bag and you can put something in this one, and when I did it for the others, let's see how hard it is, so I'm not going to do that with hers, but she'll never figure it out and end up tearing the pages at her age, so I just put the little pocket there, another d dog setter, tuck spot, and this is leftover paper, it's the elephant skin theme, tone paper or whatever, but you can go in that little flat spot. A doily, and I just, it was white, and I just took my ink and um, rubbed all over it till it turned blue, and then glued a little bit of this, these uh, craft pearl things on it. Writing page, tuck spot, name. This is really a cool, fun idea. I cut in this small, but with landscape lined paper. And I've got kind of like this little book that they can write in, really cute. And I just did, you know, one staple, fold it up. This was right in there. And then, okay, I got this outfit so I'm wearing for a tea party, and I put in my usual trademark post um, sealing wax. So that's that one. Um, like I said, she's only three. I think she just turned three. And um, she'll have fun with it, whether she is able to use it for what it's for, it's one thing, but I know she'll have fun with it, and that's really all that matters in the end. She'll figure it out. And that's that. Little mini junk journal number four. And then this just slides right in there. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed watching, got some ideas and some inspiration. Now head on back and just go ahead and start making your own. And I have the links to the other three that I've made in the description below if you want to check those out. She being three didn't really have other than tea parties didn't have a theme that she liked, but the others, one liked Minecraft, one liked Harry Potter, and the other one liked lace and frills and bling so much, so I put a lot of that in there, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, got some good ideas, and uh, see you next time. Don't forget to, subscri to subscribe so you can see the final one of my mini, five mini junk journals. Thanks for watching. Bye.